It looks menacing, freaky, it's two inches long, its sting can be deadly to humans, and it enjoys feasting on honeybees. And they, they do this by decapitating them. Meet the giant hornet, or murder hornet. Here it is next to a honeybee. UC Davis entomologist Lynn Kimsey says it first appeared in Washington State near Vancouver last September, most likely arriving on a shipping container from Asia. None have been discovered in California. If it did come over and get established to the point where we couldn't control it, then yes, it could do a lot of damage to agriculture in general. That's because their victims, honeybees, are essential to pollinating the fruits and vegetables key to California's economy. On farmland near French Camp, this beekeeper has close to 250 hives. He's familiar with the giant insect, but isn't worried about attacks on hives for now. I don't think they're going to be attacking that quickly in here. In, America, in the United States. Still, the San Joaquin Farm Bureau Federation is keeping a close eye on the giant insect's next move. If this is something that gets established and it, it can wipe out hives. So what are the chances the murder hornet could establish colonies in the Sacramento-San Joaquin Valleys? Entomologist Lynn Kimsey believes very little chance. Because we do a lot of spraying, the insect populations are very small. By and large, uh, there just wouldn't be enough food for them. That along with tilled ground and easily discovered in trees makes nesting spots a challenge. Bottom line, they're more sting than bite for now.